All right, YouTube, here we are to play Rich Callie's uh, Delver deck. <clears throat> it's got light up the stage, four Terramanders, a little more uh, a little more velocity driven. There's no spell pierces in the main deck. Like, it's much more, it's much fat. It's, it's supposed to be a much uh, more velocity driven kind of speed Delver deck, not really as, as interactive. So we're going to give that a try. So we're going to go over to Competitive Legacy. We're going to jump into it quick. <coughs> I like this, that, that, that this deck has Sulfuric Vortex. I think that's a nice little I win card. You know, just put stress on it just kind of stretches out whatever they are cancels judgments more I assume no rod is for like does this work does this work against storm I think so I'm not sure if anyone that knows that for sure could let me know, that would be great. All right. It does? All right, so we're going to get a Valk and then play Delverino. Dit Shadow. That was a deck that I thought I would have liked when I first started playing. When I first started to play more Legacy, I thought I would like that deck, but it just it just never really clicked with me. Okay, we're good. Here's a problem with light up the stage. If he goes and kills my Delver right here, oh wow. He's gonna play Tavaruski. All right, put it for me, Delver. All right, I'm gonna start with an attack. And I think I'm gonna play my Wasteland. Waste my opponent and then so we don't get dazed. Or like even if I go with this on the stack, my opponent can uh just daze it to save their land. Oh shoot. Cast with spectacle. Well we had a big old no hitter. I guess we get to force something, which isn't as bad here. I mean, I'll force anything now because it's just trading one for one. Losing one life is worth keeping the land in play, I guess. I don't really know if I'm supposed to do this or not, but I'm gonna. I guess we still two for one ourselves there because we use the card from the light of the stage. Oh yeah, well that was shitty. That sucked. I didn't really, I was trying to like compartmentalize what was going on in my head and like it just wasn't really working. I was like, what is the point? Is there like, but I ended up trading the light up the stage and the days for the ponder.
Get ourselves a Gurmag Angler here. Guess I'll show light up the stage. I guess I could have put the chain lightning back in order to flip my Delver again. I could have just put them both. Yeah, that was stupid. Because I don't really want to light up the stage now because I know that the Pyromancer is not going to matter. Yeah, I, I messed this up. I should have put two cards back and kept my Pyromancer. I'm getting a little little confused with what's going on here. Now I'm in trouble. Alright, just gonna attack your death shadow. Hopefully I don't die. The nice thing here is that my opponent is at like they can't kill me next turn. Nice. Alright, yes. Yeah, my opponent would be dead if I'd have done this right, but I did not. I have to brainstorm into untapped land and two removal spells, two fatal pushes, not dismembers. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can not mess this up. Luster Storm's probably fine against the Hymn deck. <clears throat> and if I'm bringing in counter spells, I probably should cut some of my light ups. Though I could just cut all of my forces and keep light up the stage because we're playing against a Hymn deck. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Because we just want resources. And, like, Light Up Stage was not... Like, I think I used it wrong in that game. That's pretty good. Hey. Oh, you're eating that. Okay. No, you're good. Carry on. Carry on, Fizzway. All right, my opponent will against the four. Which sucks. I'm sorry, opponent. I'm just going to Fluster Storm Days of him. Because, like, him being getting hemmed here is a way for my opponent to come back into the game. Now I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm going to ponder this turn. Well, now I'm just going to play Delver. We have Liliana, uh, the last hope covered, which is the scariest card right here. Him still sucks, yeah. But I right, hit Flusterstorm in a land, which sucks. Reveal. My hand's pretty good, so I'm just going to ponder for a land. I don't really want to brainstorm. I, I wouldn't mind shuffling away this Pyromancer. But. Hmm. 
Days makes a land drop for me if my opponent's looking to do that. Any order, yes. Nice. All right, we should be in pretty good shape here. I think we're going to let this go. As much as it sucks. Like, we're going to be able to play the Delver. Or play the uh, Pyromancer. <clears throat> and now we've got them going from two fronts. <clears throat> the Pyromancer will also, like, wall out a... Uh, a Gurmag or something like that, providing we find things to do off of it. Put split them. All right, what do we got? A Death Shadow in the way. All right, I'm going to brainstorm. This is a tough one to beat. And we might hit another daze. Okay. Play this. We're chain lightning my opponent. I'd like two more velocity cards. I guess if I would have stacked that differently, I could have dazed my own chain lightning and made more. Again, we're just going to make tokens. <clears throat> Um, you should bring in, you should cut like your fatal pushes and bring in surgicals. And try to get them fast. All right. Light up's a little, not as good without a one drop. It's a little, looks a little awkward. Yeah, we can keep this. So we don't take my force of will. Yeah. That's the game plan. No problem. Probably just like another braid. Oh, that sucks. I'm just going to jam this Pyromancer because I have a second one. Probably won't fight with a Force of Will. Unless we're playing against a combo deck, which we might be. Badlands. So we're playing against Phoenix. All right, we've got another one. It's gonna suck for my opponent. Like, thought seizes and then goes off. Playing against Red. No, this is definitely the Phoenix deck. I'm about to get worked. Right, 
right, we got that covered. But even if they name Force of Will, it shows Lightning Bolt. Huh. It's a good name, I guess. Oh, they can take my Young Pyramid. So I have to force the back half of this. So they're going to take my Pyromancer. Maybe I should have. I probably. Should, I should have thought about that. And I should have forced the front half. It cuts me off. Light up the stage. Hard cast. But I think it's going to be worth trying to constrict this mana. I think I'm getting crushed here, though. So I think I'm playing the Phoenix deck and, like, trying to keep them off black mana. Like, we're already in a lot of trouble, but I got to just try to reduce it a little bit. They find a Lightning Bolt. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have wastelanded. And this layup the stage was like my best option to get back into the game. I'm not going to trade. I have so many more ways to get this thing off the battlefield. Like that. Now I'm in the driver's seat. The next turn we wasteland. Or I might not even waste. I might just lay up the stage. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna lay up the stage. I light up into another light up and then another card. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. First, I'll attack with two of my tokens, and I'll force chumps from them, because they're not going to light up. They're not going to let me light up for one, because they know it's here. I won. Yep. Uh, beat Death Shadow in a decent... In a, weird, in a game one where I made a lot of mistakes, and I just mulligan a four in game two. Wasn't really much to talk about. I'm going to get Hardcast Phoenix here. Yeah, so now we're definitely not wastelanding our opponent. Okay. We can shrink the battlefield, though. So I am going to attack with these two. Fail trade. All right, so we have days, which might be relevant. Well, days anything. And then we have another light out.
Just gonna daze this. Just to make a basically just to make a one one. Not a great use here. But if they attack, then I get to attack with my two elementals, and he's been forced to trade with the pyromancer. Yeah, you can't attack with the Phoenix. Okay. So now they go double trade. Okay. Oh, that's rough. Um, I'll cut off the red mana. <clears throat> We're in a little bit of trouble now. Need like a brainstorm. Um, it was pretty, I liked it the last league that I played, but this league, it has not been that great. Oh man, am I going to get, oh uh, yeah, we're dead. And I could, I could have cut them off black, but I didn't think with the small amount, like I wanted them to not be able to kill my pyromancer. And I didn't think with the small resources they had, they would be able to do that. <clears throat> so, sad. Okay, so if we get more reactive, we do want to cut the light up the stages. Um, Chain Lightning is also probably pretty poor, but Forkful is great in Pyromancer fights. Uh, True Name is a little slow. True Name also gets through everything, though. Terramander also gets worse, I think, if you aren't as, like, um, how do I say this? If you're not as, like, wheel spinny. You know, trying to like velocity it out. We'll just submit the blast. I don't think are that good. Uh, oh, we can get rid of vapor snag for probably terramander. Uh, probably just a chain lightning. No. All right. Keep. I thought I was going to win that game for a long, for a long majority of it. <clears throat> if I'm kills my Delver here, I'm going to be very sad. All right, Delver not dying. Mucho happy out. <clears throat> Destroying your toy. What do they do with this? They put two cards on top. I think there's a chance that I likely have to lightning bolt on this turn, so I don't want to give up my fetch land. Okay. And I'll wasteland. Flip, Delver. Nice. Should attack first. Four sequence things from the home team. 
That is a nice ponder. All right, we're we're running with cooking with gas now. I want to make sure to shuffle before I ponder next turn. Sad. I kind of just want to snap this off too. Leaving with three cards. I think I'm going to. I have a ponder on top. I need to fetch to get rid of it, but like I think we're I think we've got him on the got him on his heels here. Got him on the back foot, excuse me. I actually don't know if I know the card underneath, and if I hit a wasteland, it's really nice. <clears throat> um, I kind of want to shuffle. Yeah, maybe I was spewing. Put them to 11, bolt them. Or maybe I just want to draw the lightning bolt, fetch it away. Because 11, 8. Yeah, I think I'm going to. Sh um, yeah, I'm going to shuffle this. Okay. I just didn't think the true name was like gonna matter that much. The lightning bolt was okay, but I don't know. I do like me countering some cantrips. Oh well, there's the true name. All right, lethal on the board, I guess. So my opponent cracks the fetch, they're dead in two to the true name. Alright. What did I want besides another copy of Chain Lightning? Scary Terry. Oh, we can just get one more of these in here. Oh, I want this cage. I'm stupid. I should have boarded that in. Dirt. Over my head. All right, keep this. Get that old Delverino on turn one. It's a little scary, but we can brainstorm into some good stuff on turn two if we need to. My opponent plays a duel and brainstorms and shuffles. I'm just going to waste on them. Well, now I'm definitely going to play this Delver. That was a nice draw. <clears throat> I'm trying to daze this and untap and waste them, probably. I think you can go Dark Ritual, Buried Alive, and Gimme. Did I toss it? Did I toss it, chat? I guess I couldn't have countered the Dark Ritual or the Buried Alive anyways. 
Okay, and large casualties. Um, I'm gonna. I want to get the pyromancer in play. I'm gonna put this on the bottom and put this on top. It's a good pitch card to force. Well, now I want to waste them. Play this thing next turn. It leaves their removal up, but the black does more scarier stuff. Put a Delver. It's, oh, I'm okay with the Delver dying here. We, my opponent showed us Lightning Bolt in game one. Now I'm going to play Pyromancer. That's a nice draw. Because it gives me the token right away if I need it. It's also some good turn zero interaction. Or not turn zero, but interaction right now. Jesus. I think I'm going to force this. I thought I paid four life for that. Like this might be aggressive, but it would take a lot for my opponent to counter off here. Jesus. All right. Where were you? Um, let's put this back. I'm going to shuffle and then ponder. All right, Scary Terry is pretty nice and can also protect me from trade with this Tomb Stalker. Scary Terry is really nice. But I think I'm going to draw the Ponder. And I kind of want to just Ponder this turn. Though I could just Lightning Bolt my opponent at the end of the turn. I also could just Surgical Marsh Casualties, but they can't cast it. I think I'm going to set up a race just in case they, they mess up Scary Terry. Okay, so let's keep Terry on top. And now I can bolt this, play Terry, and then upgrade it. Don't attack, dude. All right. I hope I actually didn't count. I hope I can upgrade Terry. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I just felt like I could do it for one, so I didn't really think about it. All right, two and out. 
two and oh, I'm gonna get some water. I'll be right back. All right. We're hydrated. We're hydrated, Pity Boy. Pity Boy. You're such a good boy. I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight. Shout out some of the follows I got. I keep it. I keep it off. I keep it on mute because it comes through weird on my YouTube videos. But uh, like F Pals, uh, Zayleek, uh, Just Wanna Watch, 8277354, Biddy Biddy Pan, Jaheem, Dustin MTG, The Light 288, Chapo Spanda, and Octo8. Thank you very much. I appreciate, uh, I appreciate the support. You all are great. <clears throat> Taking a little while to fire up here. Okay. <clears throat> I haven't gotten to play with the Vortex yet. I think I played against this guy today. I got a mulligan. I will keep this one. What do we got? What do we got on top? Geez, my opponent mulligan's a five. Um, I'm going to put it on top, but I'm going to shuffle it away. <clears throat> Make my opponent think about it. Something you should always do if you're going to shuffle away a card, like guaranteed, on a mulligan, you should always put it on top. Uh, we are 2-0 in this league. So it's going pretty good. Um, so we want to go like this. I kind of want to save the ponder, but like... Okay, I'm going to keep the ponder. It would be nice to hit a third land, but depending on what we're doing, we might wait and hit the third land. Oh, is this guy the Eldrazi player? I want to force this. Force pitch force. All right, we're not going to get cut off of a color, so we're going to go with double and uh, double dual. Okay. Pyromancer is going to do some work. Is he Mimic? All right. Put this back. Put this back. I will 
chain lightning this. Let's get this out of the way. I might have been able to wait and pick off this dot knots here. That was probably a better play. Probably should have kept the brainstorm. So that, like, if they thought not see me again, it's my worst card. All right, well, we're dead. We're dead as a doorknob. That's probably something else I should have thought about. All right. How do I win? Do I win by my opponent tapping their Ancient Tomb too many times? I think so. Moment of truth. This going upstairs. Probably not. I gotta deal with this Endbringer. Move one to four. All right, we might be in a little bit of trouble. Yeah. Yeah, I messed up, I think. All right, a braid is good. That's really it. We don't have too, too much for this matchup. Unless we want to try to go, like, full burn. Fourth bolts aren't good. It's probably just the two light ups. Because card advantage doesn't really matter that much here. <clears throat> uh, there's no threat. I'm going to keep. We get to see a lot of cards, but, you know, this hand does just get KO'd if we flounder for too long. The problem with blocking the Thought Knots here is that, like, I'm sorry, I missed this. You said this a while ago. Is that eventually, like, that Endbringer is just going to eat my entire board. All right, we got an 8-outer for three cards. Okay, we got it. I think I want the third land because I, I want to be able to true name, but maybe it was worth it to fetch it away.
He's just gonna take my brainstorm. Probably should have fetched. I can see one new card here. Jeez. Okay. So I want to put back two cards that will flip my Delver. So let's go like this and this. Daze this. We draw Vapor Stag. Delver's going to flip. Come on, take a turn off. No more big dumb idiots. Magic bomb, what a tilt. We have nine points of burn in our hand, so my opponent is just dead. Oh, my opponent messed up. That sucks. I think they just made a mistake. Okay. Yeah, I think I think they just made a mistake. Went to go click it and did something else. All right, we're gonna hit submit. Though the pyromancers might be a little slow on the draw, so bring in one more light up. Cut a pyromancer. They were zero, yeah, but I think they just messed up and went to go like, because it'll tell you to, it'll, you'll click it, and then it'll give you two different things to click. And if you click the wrong one, it'll just destroy itself. I've done that before with Wasteland. All right, that's pretty solid. I think I'm just going to waste them. Definitely going to waste my opponent. Get out of here. Another monolith. Well, I'm just going to do this until it gets old. Don't kill my Pyromancer. Yeah, a brain would be nice. Yo, gut shot here would be sick. Oh, Ratchet Bomb. That's okay. We'll just make a million tokens. Probably should have wasted my opponent. Definitely should have wasted my opponent. Now I'm going to get Thought Nuts here. God damn it. As soon as I get priority, I'm going to wasteland my opponent. All right. Inside of combat. Get rid of that.
All right, making some tokens, making some tokens, making some tokens. We're making tokens. I should have made one more. I, I kind of wanted to like not super spew in case I hit something, but I guess I need to just try to finish this game as soon as possible. All right, so my opponent's keeping this at zero. So, all right, here comes all kinds of big stuff. I've not played this this whole match very well, I don't think. May have fooled around too long with the wastelands. Yeah, that thing is gonna beat me. All right, what do I need? How do I win? I draw a braid like right here. Yeah, I'm gonna scoop this one up. Keep moving the games along. I just kind of want to get a feel. Then, like, tomorrow I'll probably get test a little more. I think the Eldrazi matchup is probably pretty, pretty poor for Blue-Red. You don't have something huge like Gurmag Angler. Terramander's locked out because of Chalice. That's probably something to note. Uh, yeah, this hand's pretty solid. I'm going to get an island, and I want to play my Pyromancer on two. Some Canadian Thresh. Put on the bottom, put on the top. Rug Delver is one of my favorite decks to play, but I cannot get a version of it. I can't, I can't, I, I always lose whenever I play with it. Okay, we're going to let this go. Because I would like to play Pyromancer. All right, so that's going to be a nice little follow-up. I'm going to pick up my Valk if they try to daze this. Jeez. I think we're playing against Grixis Control. I'm going to waste them in the upkeep. Or if they brainstorm now. <clears throat> they have a stifle. They'd use it on their turn. That does not do anything. I guess it kind of does. <clears throat> I guess I kind I guess I did this to myself. I let them get, because I didn't do it at the end of the turn, I did their upkeep. So I might brainstorm, hang on. I might brainstorm end of turn to try to find a daze or a force of will so that I can play 
two pyromancers with protections. I think I'm going to do that. It also just lets me get an attack in. All right, well, we didn't find that, but I did find Scary Terry. So we'll put this under this. Draw Wasteland, I stacked that wrong. It's whatever. Get rid of the Snapcaster Mage. Attack, and then I'm just gonna play Terry. We can get Deluge, but that's kind of a that's kind of an awkward main deck card. And Terry is not that far from getting getting large and in charge. All right, I'm just going to go play Pyromancer and then Chain Lightning again. Just put the most pressure on. All right, so we're playing against like a blue-black control deck. This is probably not, we probably want these. Um, I like cutting quite a few wastelands in a matchup like this. It did kind of come back to bite my ass earlier. We probably don't need that many cards like Chain Lightning. Being that reactive is pretty poor with light up the stage, though. So maybe I should, like, cut these, bring in, like, one, two of these. Because, like, you want cards off light up the stage to be able to, like, get you going. We don't need this vapor snag. I'll play one light up, one more light up. Yeah, that's what we're going to do here. All right, sounds pretty solid. I feel like I've played against this guy today. Days is a nice draw. Maybe he, he actually, I think he kept in, brought in back to basics in the blue-red matchup, if I remember correctly. I'm going to preordain. I think I'm going to fetch next turn. Don't want either of these. Another Pyromancer is not bad. Flip. No. All right, those are good cards.
Okay. <clears throat> My Delver is going to flip, sir. What are they waiting for? Are they going to try to push it now? Or you should wait till you see what is revealed. Yes. Play land. Attempt to blast that thing. Am I going to get Fluster Storms? Spell Pierce. Days. No, did I, did I click the wrong thing? Oh, I clicked the wrong thing on the stack. I was just playing too fast. I am five and a half hours in. So we made a little mistake there. Oh, no. I guess I will not pay for that. That sucks. Well, now I got to trade my Delver for this thing. Damn it. Blah. Blah. And now my thing gets shuffled away. Yeah, I'm just going to. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, that's so annoying. Ah. It was better than a Delver and a Force of Will. We had Scary Terry. I'm take one draw step here. If we don't find a way to kill Thief, I'm going to call it. Okay. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, that's so annoying. That's all right. Keep it together. having a good time. I appreciate all the support I've gotten today. <clears throat> you all have been great. All right, keeping it, playing a good old Delverino on one. Just going to get a duel. We haven't seen a uh, Force of Will from our opponent yet. Or a uh, uh, Wasteland, excuse me. Oh, wow, they're just playing right into it. Okay. I kind of want to force this. Yeah, I think I'm going to brainstorm my upkeep. I think we're going to flip this thing and we're going to town. 
Okay, so let's go put back this. I don't know. I feel like I just should be playing. I want to play this like the way my hand wants to be really aggressive here because I have so much reach. What do we get going here? I think I'm going to brainstorm at the end of my opponent's turn. Now that I wait one more card, because I have to kill this anyways. Opponent shuffled. So my opponent fetches. We potentially got him. I'll do this now. Okay. Just gonna chain lightning it and attack. My opponent fetches, they're dead next turn. We need to make sure to fetch before our draw step. Oh, this has been a hot game. All right, we have that covered. As long as my opponent doesn't have their own Fluster Storm. Would that be exactly Fluster Storm? <clears throat> Should I get another blue red duel? You have a fluster storm bud. All right. This is some desperation. I'm going to wasteland this thing. I guess I'm not going to actually. It doesn't do anything. Jeez. <coughs> so I'm just going to bring some like himself, which is intelligent. Wish I had that days. Oh, I wish I had a days. I 
Oh man, that was stupid. It's not good. All right, so how do I fix my issue right now? Do I have to bolt this Jace? Well, I wanted to crack it. So I kind of want to just leave it there. Oh, if I kept my days, I could have beaten the Jays. The days is my top card. So I guess I just go like this again, make them find an answer. Okay, nice. <clears throat> so we got him over two turns. So I think I just wasteland, play land. I'm gonna just I'm gonna empty my hand so I don't get hemmed. If my opponent finds an answer to Delver, they could plus two and fate seal us. But we've got a pretty good spot if they don't have that. <clears throat> All right, so now we're in trouble. EE e for one. Okay. Now my bolt's gone. What is that one? So they got the hard cast force, can't fetch. Okay. All right. They see me fate sealing. I think I'm gonna lose. Oh. Okay, that's a nice one. At least I can fetch something away. How many? What do I got left for reach? One, two, three. I've got. I think I've got three cards. Three of each left. He's out here. He out here storming. All right, what true name nemesis? Um, lightning bolt, something. All right.
so sad. I totally could have beat the Jays. If I'd have kept my days. All right, I'm going to fetch because my opponent might have thought it was good and left it on top for this thief. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man. Oh, they milled the vortex. I just hit turn, have my auto yields on. I guess it doesn't matter now. It's been cleared. All right, ponder. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. No. Let's see if we hit it. Ah, uh, the, the, the sadness. All right, let's get the last one in here. I think I would have won if, if I would have. I think if I hadn't messed up with that stupid uh, whatever it is, I think it would have been like in the second game when I accidentally dazed because I'm just tired, dazed my pyroblast. So let's hope that we can finish this up here and get our 3-2. All right, we got a threat on one with removal and another threat in a wasteland. It's kind of what the Delver is looking for. Oh, my opponent will get a five. That sucks. Excuse me. Rut row. Am I get punished for not fetching a blue land? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. All right, get you. Oh, my opponent could rebound this. I should have attacked. Yeah, this is this is dumb on my part. Yeah, I messed this up. I should have attacked first. I I completely forgot about this. I'm tired. Here. Oh, Anzi, thank you very much for the raid. I appreciate it. Coming here on the end of end of my stream. We're kind of making some mistakes. I'm getting a little tired. We're about five hours and 40 minutes in. <clears throat> but I appreciate the raid. I appreciate everybody coming over. This is going to be a tough one to win. I guess we just hold back and try to race in the air. I was just punished for not... Well, that's not bad. I was just punished for not fetching an island on turn one, which I'm still not quite used to. A lot of mono red. Not as much as there was. Well, cast with spectacle. Hit an island. Play this Delver. All right. 
And I think this one, this game's like pretty much entire. I, mean, I think I would have won this game probably going away if I would have. Um, I'm just going to take this. I think, I guess I could have blocked. Well, ugh, I'm getting tired. Take here, take here. Can't really do anything. All I need is an island, and I think we're going to win this game. But we are running out of time. And if we lose, it's my fault. Like, I just didn't fetch. Didn't fetch what I needed to. I messed up with the chain lightning. My opponent could be at two less health right now, which would matter. That's something. I do have plenty of lightning bolts in my deck. But I probably am going to trade off with two of these goblins this turn. Slow these things down a little bit. Because next turn, it cracks me for five, six, seven, eight. Blue source. I think that probably just kills me, right? Because makes a token, five, six, seven, eight, gets through. Even if I attack them to six. I can't drop blue source plus brainstorm into bolt bolt. So I am just dead as a doorknob. If I block, I'm also just dead. Yeah, this one was my fault. Like I, I just always forget to fetch the basic. Like, I forget the basics are in my deck until my mana's like set up. Alright, well these are braids. There's not really much for the mono red matchup, but you probably don't really need it. You know, if you fetch, don't fetch like an you know, like an imbecile. Probably get rid of one light up the stage. Like it's, I mean, it's a way to draw cards under a blood moon, which we saw, which was kind of nice. I don't really know how to sideboard this deck exactly, but I think I want the card draw at least. I've got a Terramander. Like, we're not going to go that... Like, we're not looking to go that long in the game. Like, Terramander's great longer. Longer the game goes. So we have Force. Probably could have boarded out a True Name. Also, I should have thought of that. We have Force plus Blue card. We have Basic Island. Like, this hand's probably keeps us to be a Basic Island. Probably end up brainstorming on one to try to have this pyromancer on two. Force pitch true name to a chalice. Unless we brainstorm into like land of raid. Or days. Okay. All right, so I'm going to brainstorm here anyways because I'm going to that's part of the plan. And we didn't hit. Jeez. I did hit a braid, which is nice. And force pitch true name. That was that was tough. Yeah, and shuffle. Okay.
I'm gonna fetch an island. So my opponent goes to blood moon me. Not gonna lie, I'm tempted to just bust this chat this um this chrome box. But that's probably a little greedy. I might bust it with probably the Pyromancer in play. Because we, we have just have so many answers to like that's also hitting chalice. They hit their third land, so there's probably no need to do that. Land go. Three ball, you got it. Jeez. Uh, I'm probably going to look to a braid, like a rabble master or something like that. So I kind of want to just make my land drops. Not like I can really shuffle off of a brainstorm, anyways. Yeah, like we wanted to kill that thing. So let's stop in combat. Uh, deals three damage to target creature. Right on time. All right, don't kill my Pyromancer, dude. Ensnaring Bridge. So we got one out to that. We have not really been owning. It's been kind of a tough day. This is just a shuffle. These cards aren't good enough. We're looking for a Braid or Cantrips. Probably can leave that in our hand. I don't think we're going to. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe we draw another land, we can hard cast force and do something else. So I guess I'm going to play my land out. All right, double moon. We have a super moon. All right, we'll hold that because we still have force. We don't have force plus something else to do yet. Okay, again, same thing. Yeah, this way, if I find what I'm looking for. All right, now I'm going to play this. One, two, three, four, five. I'm not going to bolt anything because we might be able to bolt like a Rabble Master. And we're not realistically going to burn our opponent out from 20. We got 40, 39 cards in the deck, and there's one a braid. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. All right, so before they go to combat. All right, Let's play some nice. Oh, we're running out of counter spells. I kind of just want to daze this just so that if I make if I find whatever I'm looking for, it's enough damage to kill them like as soon as possible. Because we're never going to actually daze something. So 
It's like such a spew, but I don't even think it really matters. Yeah, pretty much. Like I'm drawing to one a braid. I think I want to make that a braid, like end the game as fast as possible. And like I'm never ever gonna get to days anything. It's not gonna put cards back with force with a brainstorm. All right, we'll light them up. All right, chain lighting you. Oh, they can do it back. I always forget they can do it back. I always forget that. Rah. All right, whatever. You kill one of my pyromancers. I got two tokens out of the deal. I get two tokens out of it. Always forget that. It's half joking. Oh. All right, come on. Show me the braid. Oh, I can light up the stage through the cards I'm looking at, through the cards I brainstorm back. What a card. All right, we're halfway through the deck. All we need, we're drawing one, we're, we're basically drawing to Anna Brain. Is my opponent actually dead even if I draw it? No. What do we got? One, two, three, we have 10, 11. Yeah, so. They're not quite dead even if we draw it. Fiery Confluence murders us. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting not super thickened at the moment. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, I'm trying to get that instant that I don't have to sit through this any more value. No. Okay, one, two, three, six, nine, eleven, twelve. But we can only cast two blue spells, so we might as well just hold our lands. Doesn't really matter. Because, like, we have both of our islands, so we're never going to cast more than three spells, two blue spells, and then two red spells in a turn. So, whatever. I have a lot of them. I've seen a lot of them. What they do? Oh, I cast a guide. Flip to a braid. <clears throat> There's not too much complicated about this. We got one a braid in the last 26 cards of our deck. Oh, well, I guess we can play Terry and get scary. That one lives through the confluence, I think. That, that, card, that card does, like, what? One to everything, two to an opponent, shatter. So we can play this. Play Terry and not feel bad about it. 
seven mooned. In case I ever draw like a million blue spells. A braid! Yes! We got it! Should have evolved at sorcery speed to put around their braids. Yep, that would have been good. That would have been good. I thought to myself, like, well, they're just going to play their card no matter what it is. Because if they don't play their card, then we can attack with the 1-1s. One one All right. This is going to be the last match of the stream. I appreciate everybody, the last game of the stream. So hopefully we can end out pretty decently here. Um, I could bring in some Fork Bolts because Fork Bolt tends to... Um, how do I say this? Fork Bolt can clean up Rabble Master tokens a little bit better. And these True Names probably are just not that good. They do live through the Confluence. But, like, if we get Moon, they're going to be so hard to cast. Does no no rod just hits um does no rod even activate ability so it just hits whatever the card is the sphere no that's the sphere the uh, mox I didn't want I didn't want too many Terries because they're a little weak to chalice. They ate one drops was too many, but I don't know. We'll stop moxes and petals. So I definitely want to bring these in. These are like maybes. I definitely want to do this. I think that's it. I just don't know really what else to cut. Like the the pyromancers are good. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. I feel like I learn so much in every match. Like I'm a little tired right now, so I might not be soaking it up. But every time we get these hard decisions, like I I did a ponder today that I just like sat there for like. Three minutes. I just didn't know what to do. It's like, do I, uh, do I like, do I want to use? I had a fetch land, a non fetch land, and a fetch land in hand with like some counter spells, a creature, and I was like, do I want to fetch right now? Okay, I have no idea. Fetch before this ponder. Do I want to fetch after this ponder? What if this ponder is great? I fetched once, but I want to use all the cards in my hand. Like that. That was like a. I almost had a moment. Like most of the time my computer shorts out when I stream, but it was almost me. All right. Do that song and dance. We're going to get an island so we don't get screwed like we did in the first game. I could ponder. And I kind of want to ponder, I think. I'm going to ponder because, like, what am I going to hit? I'm going to hit... Nothing that matters that much. The problem is Terramander is much worse than like Delver. But I'm going to be able to turn it on pretty quick. So yeah, we're going to play the homeboy. Your clock down there. If it was a Delver, I wouldn't have even thought twice about it. But All right, deal. Should have attacked first. A little bit of poor sequencing from the home team. Let's 
So I kind of want to draw the brainstorm. No, I want to draw the force. And then I want to be able to choose to pitch and draw the brainstorm. And then I can brainstorm if I find something I need to force. And then choose to have either, and then know that Scary Terry's the pitch card. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I can't cast anything, so. Yes, you're right. I did that wrong. You're right, Lawrence. I'm getting tired. Yeah, you're right. I could have bolted my opponent there also, which is just something I didn't think about. Because like I need to I need to spin my wheels velocity wise. All right, I'm going to end up probably bolting my opponent at the end of the turn. To speed this clock up a bit. Because I need to start. So what am I doing? I can go Terry plus fourth bolt. And then that puts I could just brainstorm. Terry plus fourth bolt puts four cards in the graveyard. They're taking two a turn. I really want to hit some land drops so I can actually start to turn these terror matters on. So I kind of just want to brainstorm and then hold this hold Terry. Okay, so now, now Terry, now Brainstorm is my pitch card. And I'm going to put this back. And put this back. Then if I go hit, hit, fourth bolt, fourth bolt, level up, then I'm cracking them for five, and it's a two-turn clock. Okay, we got it. But actually now, I, because I don't need this Terramander, I want to keep my Brainstorm and pitch the other Terramander. So let's go like this. Fourth Bolt. I might as well just attack first to be 100% right here. Yeah, I gotta spin, I gotta like, I kinda have to spin my wheels. At this point, I'm gonna let pretty much anything that doesn't stop me from attacking. Total Blitz Return, okay. Didn't think about that. Now if they play something that kills my Terror Mander, I'm in trouble because I kept the wrong card. I was thinking about some way to like stop. Yeah, here we go. And I'm dead. Because I messed up. Yep. Yep. Um, I could hit Pyromancer if I do this. I can just put back Chain Lightning, Scalding Tarn, make my land drop Chain Lightning them. No, can't do that. I kind of want to just Chain Lightning my opponent while they're uh, while they're tapped out and they can't Chain Lightning me back. But if I get whacked by a Rabble Master, that's going to suck. I can just do that next turn also, because like, and I can like spectacle for one less.
Because like now I can go bang, spectacle for one. I see, I make a land drop, then I see one more card. What do I got? I've got three bolts left in my deck. And I've got two chain lightnings left. Yeah, I've got two chain lightnings and three bolts. Push that. Relevant right now. It's it's probably the the only the only way that it would matter is if I light up into Terry or Delver. But like that's just a way for me to get blown out by a rabble master. It just takes a turn off, but yeah. They have more rabbles. So, all right, well, there's an abrade. It's kind of an unfortunate one to potentially exile. All right. All right, well, that changes things. <laughs> and I'm just going to play Pyromancer. And I'm going to Chain Lightning. I want to just snap this Chain Lightning off now before my opponent can replay it back to the Rattle Master. I hope it's good. Yeah, Chandra makes sense. Hazard makes sense. Another Confluence makes sense for cards I could have. You're going to say, like, I hope it's good. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do here. Because, like, they can't redirect it back in my Pyromancer. We can handle a Chandra. Like... Like, we're kind of, we're in trouble. I mean, I guess Pyromancer kind of handles Hazret. I messed up. My big mistake was when I, yeah, whatever, was when I, um, oh, well, there, there's scary. Probably should hold, probably should just hold Terry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many fiery confluences do these decks play? Like, I'm not going to play it. Like, I want to make them deal with the board before I let them get me even worse. All right, we got Bridge Beat. Oh, nice. Phil. Stop that, Phil. All right, are we on that whole hope I time out game? All right. No, Phil, you live your best life. Yeah, dude. Check out Phil. This is the old Philly boy. He's going for a ride, Twitch chat. I wasn't just yelling, no, stop that at a human. Like, <laughs> Phil. All right, so um, let me go back over here, finish up talking about the deck. 
Okay, so um yeah, Anzi, you was sitting with me one time and I was or Anurag and I was watching your stream and I was watching you like miracled and entreat and you got excited and Phil heard you get excited because you're on the TV and he just like looked up while you like miracled your entreat. It was pretty funny. Um so about this deck. I actually kind of like this deck. I think I like this better than Austin Collins' deck. Um, it's just like, it's more wheel spinny, which you kind of need to make, like, like I like this package. I don't really like either of these cards on their own, but I actually kind of like them together. Because, like, you just got to go. You know, and I made some mistakes with that during uh, during the play. When you, when you play it during when I play, but when you play this deck, you do just kind of go, got to go with it. You you gotta just turn through your deck. Velocity. I, I don't like these cards really without each other. Like I didn't really like uh, Terramander and Austin Collins deck because he had too many spell pierces. So. Yeah, it's Rich Callie's deck. But let me find somewhere to send you all over to. Yeah, if you want to say that, sure. Especially without Gitaxium Pro. Is there anyone else streaming Legacy that you guys would like to go to? I mean, I don't really know the Legacy streamers that much. All right. Uh... We'll send you over to um, yeah. We'll send you over to Todd. Oh, Arkan. Okay. A R K four A N. All right. I appreciate you all for showing up and hanging out tonight. Head on over to Arkin stream. Ark four N. I always call him Arkin. Um. Uh, thank you, and I appreciate you all for being here, and have a great rest of your night. And I